We've got barbecue back here. You're all invited. Welcome to the Sloop Cast. How are you doing today, Kyle? Doing pretty well, Jared. How are you doing today? You know, uh, we got one episode down. We just previewed Ohio State. Uh, that was our Thursday episode. If you haven't listened to our Thursday episode yet and you're about to listen to this and you're going to be like, hey, you're an Ohio State podcast. Where's all the Ohio State contest, content? You're talking about all the other games. That's our Thursday episode. We preview Ohio State Notre Dame. We give that one a full episode. That's our Thursday episode. This is our Sloop Picks episode. This is where we talk about the other games. And we talk about them uh, far more briefly than we do the Ohio State game. It gets its own damn episode. It does. It does. You don't, you don't want to listen to us for two straight hours, do you? God, no. <laughs> God, no. No one wants to listen to us for two straight hours. Right, Austin? All right. <laughs> All right. Here we go. So as a reminder, we do pick seven games for our sloop picks here. We do we do pick the the uh, over-unders or the Vegas lines Austin. here. Yeah. We, we, we pick the Vegas lines here based off of the CBS Sports website. And... Uh, yeah, one of those seven games will always be Ohio State, so you can listen to our Thursday episode for for our pick there. But we'll pick the other six games here, so we'll we'll let's get right into it then. So the first game, Jared, it's a Friday night game, Friday night, and we got the Illinois and Indiana matchup, Friday night, eight p.m. on the Big Ten Network. Austin says Friday night is for high school football. Austin, I agree. One hundred percent. One hundred percent. Yeah. Uh, so in this game, Indiana is a four and a half favorite. Kyle, you yes, know what I'm going you know to do here? Mm -hmm. I think I think I'm going to throw a bit of a curveball here. Uh, one thing and like historically. Austin's picking the Hoosiers. Historically, Kyle, uh, you have been better at better than me at the slew picks. Mm -hmm. um, yep. However, the last two years, you you got all the years before that. Last two years, I won, then we tied, or was it the other way around? I forget. You only but won once. No, well, we tied last year. <laughs> um, yeah, we tied last year, and I won the year before that. Kyle's won all the rest of them. Uh, the last two years, I developed a bit of a mantra, which was when in doubt, pick the underdog. And I, f I feel a lot of doubt here. These are two <laughs> terrible football teams. This game is nothing but doubt. If you're giving me four and a half points to pick one of them, I'm picking the other one. Give me the fighting a lion eye. Dang. I was hoping you're going to go with, I was hoping you were going to go with a, uh, with a classic Jared go, uh, I love the way that sounded, by the way. <laughs> but I'm picking Illinois in this one. I'm picking <laughs> I'm picking Illinois. Kyle, <laughs> oh, that, that was a perfect ex I, like I'm not over it yet. That was perfect execution on that. Well, thank you. We'll move yeah. on to the next one here where I'm gonna screw it up. Uh UNC <laughs> versus the Mountaineers at Appalachian State. Noon game on the ACC network i went first maybe. last time maybe i have uh, to look that up um no i'm sorry no uh i apologize illinois indiana indiana is on fox sports one okay uh north carolina and and appy state is on espn u and uh, north carolina is a two and a half point favorite yeah yeah this yeah, yeah. The, this isn't appy state that we all New and love from how long ago was that? Ten years? How Before, long ago oh, was body? It's been much longer than ten years. God damn, <laughs> we're getting old. <laughs> we are. Yeah. Uh, yeah I'm, I'm picking the Tar Heels. I'm picking the Tar Heels. Tar Heels have a gr have a really really good offense. I don't I don't know about the defense, but they have a really good offense here, and they're going to put up points and much more than what Appy State can do. So I'll I'll pick UNC to cover. Kyle. Yes, Jared. We have our first, our first disagreement of the season. Um, I think Appy State could possibly win this. I really do. Um, so once again, 
when in doubt, pick the underdog. I think Appy State can win this game. That's not me saying they will. I think it's very 50-50. Much like the Illinois-Indiana game, I think that game is very 50-50. So, if you're, who are you, you going to give me two and a half points to pick one of the teams? Cool, I'm taking that team. So yeah, give me Appy State purely based on the fact that they're the underdog. And I think that whoever wins this is very 50-50. I just realized this. This is not in Chapel Hill. This is not in Chapel Hill. Which I was like, um, you know, I was a little surprised to to see that UNC going over going over to to Boone. I, I was, I'm just du- I'm just double checking to make sure it is they are they're not playing in some neutral field. And no, they are. They're playing in Kid Brewer Stadium in Boone. Jared, whenever Abby loses by in six ever times by two. No, two <laughs> yes. is fine. Or no, no, two would be bad. Um. Yeah, 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 yeah. I yeah. All right. Um. Next game. Oh, oh, hold on, hold on. We, oh, okay, okay. We, we are messing this up, Jared. Cousin oh, Jay. Cousin Jay. Cousin Jay is our guest picker like, here. And as is tradition, back. we forget about the guest picker yeah, for a couple let's games. Ba- let's back up a couple of games here. So in Illinois, he says, "Don't believe anything in Indiana. Don't believe in the Fighting Burts either." To be fair. But they play in week zero and have shaken some rust off. I'll take the points and run <laughs> and run. You shall. <laughs> and then for the uh, UNC game, he says, see above about playing in week zero. And it's a competent ACC school. So UNC and the points. He's uh, uh, he's going chalk with you so far. He is. Yeah. I mean, hey, Stuart. I mean, he, he is cousin Jay after all. Uh, <laughs> That's fair. He's your cousin, right. not my cousin. Your cousin. <laughs> all right. Uh, all right, next game here. Man, what, Jared? Yeah. I, I know people are going to look at this and be like, hmm, look at these games. Hmm, it's, it's, it's the person who's living in North Carolina picking these games here. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, right. Like, it's a very North Carolina heavy picks. Um, I promise you, more than anything else, this has to do with a severe lack of decent games in the 330 window. This is, oh, yeah. this is, this is the game I, I think I picked last. <laughs> All right. Uh, the Wolf Pack. Yeah. Vincy State versus the Pirates of ECU. Again. Boston, specifically NC State and Eastern Carolina. Not not UNC and Appy was always going to be on the slate. Okay. Here. What what is up with ACC schools playing away to a, a stadium that's not I don't know. I don't know. They're going to it's, Green, it's, they're going they're going to Greenville, North Carolina here. Um, this is the equivalent. It, this is the equivalent of Ohio State playing like at Bowling Green. Yes. Yeah. Or it, it, uh, maybe it really, at, it, it really is. Uh, I don't know. That that's 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 a, that's a big insult to Levy. Well, to Appy State at least. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um. So the Wolf Pack, which I which I gave my prediction could could really win the ACC here. Is they a really could. And a, it is a 10 and a half point over their Eastern rivals. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Am I picking first? Yeah. Why don't you pick first, Jared? Yeah. Um, I like NC State. I think that they're in a point. I think they're in a phase right now where they know that if they want to be in serious conversations, it's kind of like Cincinnati last year, which kind of stinks because this is an ACC team. Um, but I think they're at a point and I think they know it where if they want to be taken seriously nationally as a football team, mm-hmm. then they need to beat Eastern Carolina. They can't win. They have to beat them. There can't be any doubt. They must win the game. Um, I do really like NC State this year. I think they have a solid defense. Um, the They have motivation, I believe, to not just win this game, but to win it decisively. Therefore, I believe they will. Um, I So for the first time so far in our picks, I will be uh, not picking the underdog and I will be picking NC State. <laughs> Good choice, Jared. Good choice. And again, Jared, I won't mention his name again. Uh, Devin Leary. Get to know, get to know that name. He's going to be, he's going to be throwing it all over the field here. They're going to win by twenty plus in this game. They should win by twenty plus. I agree. Uh, I'll pick, 
I'll pick, I'll pick the wolf pack here. I agree, Kyle. Devin Leary, one of one of the not the best, Jared. Don't be confused. Not one, not the best, but one of the best quarterbacks in the nation. All right. Well, hold on, hold on. Let me let's 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 dive into this for a second. Do you believe he's the best in the ACC? I'm going to say yes. I'm going to say yes. Hmm. Austin said he's in the top five, and then he said no to the ACC question. But Zach right. said yes to the ACC question. Uh, it's, it's okay, RefBot. It, he didn't mean it like that. Um, <laughs> let me, I'll tell you what, let me, let me just check to see. Uh, pick six previews. I still had this up from last episode, luckily. Um, does, in fact, pick Dennis Leary. Uh, or excuse, Dennis Leary is a comedian. Devin Leary um, as the first team ACC quarterback. Uh, so there you go. And by the way, Austin, for your information, they have Malik Cunningham of Louisville as the second string. So. And that's not All to right. say you're wrong, because we will just have to see. Well, but there you go. Just so you know. All right. So Cousin Jay here says. I think they will be a very solid. Yeah, they will be very solid with the returning production from last year. Talking about NC State and East Carolina historically isn't that great, especially since losing CJ 2K way back when. Uh, so I'm going to guess he means that NC State's going to cover. Well, he says that we picked NC State. That's what that. Oh, he says NC State you. dash. He's picking, then he's explaining. I got you. All right. Yeah, yeah. All right. Next game here. Probably the, uh, yeah, it's definitely the second biggest game of the weekend here. Uh, yeah. 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 You got, you got Oregon and Georgia. I'm just looking real quick here because I don't, is, is this, is this, is this a at Georgia or is this a at Atlanta situation? Same, same thing. <laughs> it, it, it is <laughs> um yeah oregon georgia 330 kickoff and georgia is a 17 and a half point favorite and yes it is in um yeah in the mercedes-benz stadium so it's yeah, yeah, a yeah. quote-unquote neutral field yeah. neutral site game uh austin says he feels like that's too rich for him um, am I picking first or are you picking first? I forget already. I'm going first. And you know what? Austin, Austin's a smart man. Austin's a smart man. That is too rich for me. That's too rich. I will, I'll take the ducks to cover. I, I think Georgia will win easily, but, but enough to cover. Uh, I do not like Oregon, um, between player loss and them completely falling apart at the end of last season. I don't have a lot of faith left in Oregon. The, some of the players they had who I liked aren't there anymore. I don't necessarily feel like they're reloaded all that well. Um, they ended the season last year with a win over terrible Washington State, a loss to Utah. We, we, and by the way, 38 to 7 loss to Utah. So blown out. Uh, they barely beat Oregon State, who's terrible. Mm -hmm. They got blown out by Utah again, 38 to 10. And then they lost to Oklahoma, who was in midst of turmoil. Um, Oregon, I feel like whatever they had, they're slowly losing it. And again, through player attrition, I don't think it's getting better. Um, Georgia, on the other hand, has reloaded excellently. Georgia lost a lot of players to the draft, especially in the defense, but they reloaded and they reloaded hard. Um, yeah. Georgia wins this. Georgia wins this easily. Um, they they cover 17 with relative ease. Uh, give me All Georgia. Right. All right. Well, Georgia's quarterback is mediocre at best. Austin says, Austin, I agree. <laughs> that should Who be rule number four, what? Jared. <laughs> That, that is one of our rules. I don't know if it's rule number four. When in doubt, there's there's two when in <laughs> there's two 
<laughs> there's two when in doubts. When in doubts, pick the, pick the underdog. And when in doubt, pick the quarterback. However, I have no doubt. <laughs> I'm going against both of the rules because I have no doubt. All right. All right. Uh, well, more. Um, uh, I don't know how to transition to that, but uh, cousin Jay here. Uh, also, also, also going um, with what I had to say and picking Oregon. He says Georgia lost a lot, but like what Jared said, but returns a lot also, but not enough for 17 and a half. Their offense won't score more than 30, and I see Oregon scoring at least two touchdowns. Fair enough. Fair enough. Fair enough. Ugh. This next game, I, I looked at it, Jared, and I'm like, why did you pick this game? But then realized, oh, I, actually, they're both ranked. I, I, I guess I see now. <laughs> I'm talking about Cincinnati heading on over to Arkansas. It's yeah. a, this is another 3.30 kickoff. I don't know what it's playing on uh, ESPN. ESPN and Arkansas, the Hogs. <laughs> Why are you, uh, why are you saying Arkansas? Where's no Where's Nomad at? I'm I'm waiting for him to to chime in here. The Hogs. Stu are no one, no once again, that's Stuart. Two. You keep attributing Stuart things no, to Nomad. Both, they both do. They both do. Yeah, the but Hogs that's really Stuart's and, baby. The Ar <laughs> Arkansas is a six and a half point favorite. Um, to me, <laughs> that Stuart. That's what we're talking about. That's the one. <laughs> um I like I like I like Cincinnati as a program. I love what Luke Fickle's doing down there. Uh incredible amounts of respect to the Bearcats, the Bearcat family, to Luke Fickle. Um this is where this is where I say but. But but they aren't just gonna re they lost a ton of talent to the NFL draft, especially on the defense, and of course their quarterback. Um I like them. I, I like them as a program, but they don't recruit at a level that allows them to lose talent and then reload. You, you can't think of them as Ohio State. You have to think of them as Iowa or Northwestern. There is a real rebuild process that has to take place. You, they have to rebuild. They aren't going to go from the height they were at last year mm -hmm. and then come right back to that after losing talent. Yep. Um. Exactly. I think this will be a fun game. I think it'll come down to the wire. Although I think Arkansas ends up winning and I think they end up winning by enough to cover. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Just there's just going to be too much talent overall. And Cincinnati would need to play pretty much a perfect game to win this game. I, 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 I agree with what Jared said. I like, I, I love coach Fickle, love him to death, but this just isn't going to be his week here. I'll I'll pick, I'll pick the hogs here to cover the six uh, and a half. Stewart's what, mad at us for saying that. He says Fickle will have his team ready. Uh, Austin says Arkansas is going to get second in the SEC West this year. Wow. <laughs> hmm. That's a hard disagree for me. All right, let's hear, let's hear what cousin Jay has to say here. Uh, he also picks Arkansas. Says just think since he lost way too much firepower. I am a fan of the fighting fickles. Hey, yeah. But think Arkansas will be a solid, legit, in quotes, top 25 team. Not overinflated by media voters. There you go. Looks looks like you're all going to go down to this guy. <laughs> <laughs> all right. In uh, our last game here. Uh, a no quick reminder that. We pick seven games. This is we. This is our sixth game we've picked, but we did the Ohio State game on the Thursday episode. Go listen to that. Yep. And the last game that we'll be watching, maybe the first five minutes of this game, but yeah. <laughs> uh, seven o'clock kickoff. Uh, it is Utah and Florida. Uh, I am double checking again just to make it is, sure it's this is. It's actually on campus, Florida. It is. It is in Gainesville. Oh my goodness! This is is it one of those SEC neutral games uh yeah so utah is a two and a half point favorite now um you picked first last one so i'll, I'll go with this one i i don't 
see why Vegas is liking Florida. Maybe it's playing at Florida at night game. Maybe, maybe that's why, but but man, two and a half just seems too little. I I like Utah. I mean, we we saw what they could do in the Rose Bowl. Return a lot of that talent. Not all of Mm -hmm. it, but a lot of it. A lot of it too. I think, I think they'll come in and they're going to, they're going to remind people how good of a team Utah is and really, really try to make a name for themselves as one of the top contenders to possibly be in the, um, the playoffs at the end of this year. So yeah, I'll pick, I'll pick the original you, the Utes in this one. If this game were being played at an actual neutral site. And that, let's then no one's using the dome in St. Louis anymore. We can play it there. Maybe Detroit, maybe Indianapolis, maybe Minnesota. I don't know. But uh, but a true neutral site. If it were being played in Chicago at Soldier Field. Well, I guess it's still September, right? We can still do that, right? Yeah. It's still yeah. September. We can still play outside. <laughs> An SEC team playing outside in the north. Are you c- crazy, Austin? Are you... That Auburn, never Auburn, happens. Auburn, Auburn did that recently. Went yeah, up that's to Penn Auburn. State. That's Auburn. And what happened to them? Anyway. And they lost. Uh, yeah. So point here is that if this game were being played at a true neutral. Hey, it's still a loss, Zach. A true neutral. I would, I think I'd be picking Utah. Um, with this game, game being played in Gainesville at the swamp. Um, Get your and, team Kyle ready. and, and, and with Florida being the underdog, I'm getting points to pick Florida. I have to, when in doubt, pick the underdog. I'm going with that mantra for now. I think Utah wins. I do, but I think it's very 50, 50. I think it's the swamp is sold out by the way. There you go. Uh, so them. I, Again, like I think this will be a I think this will be a great game, but I think it's a coin flip game, so I have to go with the underdog. All right. Well sorry, sorry, sorry for your loss here, Jared. Uh, <laughs> all right, cousin Jay. Hey, look at this. Uh he picks Utah as well. Uh he says, liked what I saw in the Rose Bowl in Florida having a new coach and such. Give me give me the Utes. There you go. All right, okay, 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 Kyle. Let's 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 review. Um, mm-hmm. I picked Ohio State. You picked Notre Dame. So there's cousin one Jay, difference. Yep, and cousin Jay picked Ohio State. Okay. Um, I picked Florida, but you picked Utah. Yep. That's another difference. Yep. Uh, we both picked Arkansas, right? We did. Uh, yes. Okay. Um, we. No, you picked you picked Oregon, right? I picked Georgia. You picked Oregon. Yep. Yes, sir. Man, that's another difference. Um, we both picked NC State. Mm-hmm. Um, now this I is where the, my memory starts to die. You you picked the Mountaineers in this one. I did. I picked, I picked the Tar Heels. It's another difference. And then we and both it, picked Illinois. We all picked Illinois. So, but that's still what one was that? Three. One. No. Two. Th- Three, four. That's four, four differences. That's over half, Jared. Here we go. We're start. We're starting this year off spicy. <laughs> North Carolina sympathizer. Hey, Jared's the one that picked these games. I picked the games. The guy that lived in North Carolina didn't pick the two in-state, the two separate in-state North Carolina games. Yeah. Um, that that is all on me. And I will just also like to say that the. Uh, the noon time slot is uh, sketchy. <laughs> yeah. The noon, the noon, what's, the noon time's got the new time slot is sketchy this year. What's the uh, or this week? What's the Big Ten or the big the um the big noon kickoff game? Uh, that Do would be the, Texas Alabama, wasn't it? Mm-mm. No, they don't play week one. Do they? No, I didn't think they played week one. Oh. Uh, this hold on you mean i'm double, I'm, I'm double checking here yeah yeah no, that's I, you week. mean this week yes this week um i don't know what is it 
I don't know. I really don't know. I, I don't. I don't have a a big general schedule up. Uh, schedule. Let's see. Big noon. Big noon. Big noon. Um, Michigan's playing, but probably not. Um, Kyle, I don't. I don't see a Fox game in the noon slot. Um, Austin says it's Penn State and Purdue. Why is that not on my schedule? Why am I not seeing this? The game is seriously not on my schedule. <laughs> uh, yeah, it looks like, yeah. Yep. They they are going to um to West Lafayette. Am I yep. high? They are going to West Lafayette. It's a wow. All right. All right. We're moving oh. on, Jared. Because it's so the bit hold on. Hold on what, Jared? I don't know. I'm 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 very confused. Yeah. You should probably so, just move forward. Yeah, so they're 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 doing their show in week one for a Thursday game. Oh. That's oh. Why. Okay. That, so I was I was very confused. All right. Well, Mickey, less confused by um ending the show here. <laughs> yeah, in, in my defense, and to read exactly what Austin <laughs> just said, big noon kickoff at 6 p.m. on a Thursday night. Yeah. There you, in there my you go. in my defense. In my defense. All right. Uh, there we go, Kyle. Uh, I think we're going to roll this one right at a half hour, which I think is pretty awesome. Um, if you guys have any last second Ask Sloopcast questions, now would be a great time to do that. And um, I want to encourage everyone to uh, check out the Sloopcast.com. That's where you see all of our different uh, links. It sends you to all of our different social media pages, such as Instagram and TikTok and Twitter and all, all that shit. Uh, check out our YouTube page. Both for these episodes, which you can, if you're listening to this just through audio, we also do a video version on YouTube. We also do YouTube shorts. If you don't, if you don't want to listen to like a whole episode on, on, on YouTube, then you can just go and watch our like one minute highlight reels on YouTube shorts. Um, and, th but those are the same videos that are on TikTok and Instagram and Twitter too. So you can just also go see those there if, if you prefer, um, and uh, that's that's I think that's it. We have merch stores. You can see like Ohio State, but not Ohio State, like Ohio State adjacent merch, Sloopcast merch. It's all very scarlet and gray and white and black, of course. But there's there's no copyright violations happening if you're listening to this Ohio State. Um, you had a question. Your, we answered your question in the last episode, Austin. You weren't here. Yeah, your your over unders. We did the over unders on, on last one. No, no this this. Oh yeah. What's, What's your underrated going to be the best game of the week of the week? Ooh, that's a good question actually. All right, I'm just gonna go through really quick here. The West Virginia and Pittsburgh and uh, Penn State Purdue could. Eh, nah, not really. I'm scrolling, I'm scrolling, I'm scrolling. Rutgers in Boston College. You want to watch that one, Jared? Pass. All right, Jared's going to pass on that one. I'm scrolling, I'm scrolling. <laughs> not this a good is, week. It's not, not a good week. Well, a lot of the stuff is spread out between games being played in week zero, a lot of stuff being played on Thursday and Friday. It's all very spread out right now. Um, so that's not helping things. Um, I'm, I'm trying to, what I'm, I'm scrolling through the schedule. I'm not necessarily, I know you asked for like a good game. I'm trying to find like a weird upset potential is what I'm looking for. Um, army's playing coastal Carolina. Coastal. Oh, speaking of good quarterbacks. Yes. Austin, please give us yours. Speaking of good quarterbacks, I don't know if Coastal Carolina is expected to be any good this year, but that would be that might be an interesting game. BYU USF is going to be a great game. 
That's mm. interesting. I mean, I feel like you would expect BYU to roll them, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, they're not. I mean, it's 12 points. It's not a huge favorite. Uh, give you the bulls straight up or okay. At least to cover, at least to cover. I'm just, I'm yeah. just scrolling through to see if I can see some sort of wild yeah. upset potential. Um, yeah. What, 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 why not Rutgers? Why not Rutgers starting the season? Right. Is Boston college a huge upset though? They're a seven point favorite. How about this? Georgia state over South Carolina. Mm, that's that's pushing it, Jared. I don't know. I'm saying I'm going out on a limb here trying to find a weird rival, right? How about this? My middle school team tomorrow over our rivals. Sure. I'm, I'm trying to find an upset. I'm going. You gave me a question and I'm scrolling through here and I'm trying to find an upset. Um, I'm just not seeing an obvious one is the only problem. But I guess about, if it was obvious, it wouldn't be a huge upset, right? What about the Red Hawks versus the Wildcats? Good lord. Good lord, no. <laughs> good lord? Good lord, Did no. Did you just say good lord? Good lord, no. <laughs> Georgia State over South Carolina. I said that. He did say that. I did say that. They do have yeah. Rattler at a quarterback, to be fair. Yeah, that's why I picked Georgia State. <laughs> uh, Memphis over Mississippi State. Hmm. 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 Maybe Memphis over Mississippi State. That's not that far fetched. Especially at 16 points. Like, I'm not a gambler. Don't real life gamble. That's one of the rules. But, but <laughs> I find Memphis a 16 point underdog to Mississippi State very interesting. Gotcha. All right. All right. There are some games. There are some games if you're really curious, but <laughs> San Diego State over Arizona. Austin, I don't hate that. I don't hate that, Austin. South Dakota State over Iowa. What the f is Iowa doing? Playing <laughs> never play South never play Army. Never play Navy. Never play South Dakota State. This is this is true. It is true. Listen, you <laughs> <laughs> don't don't do it. Never play the military. Never play South Dakota State. That that's a rule too. Someone needs to be writing these down. Uh, Stuart asks specifically me, why are my shits? Why why are my shits? Why are my picks shitty? <laughs> Why are my picks shitty? Listen, I will meet you on the battlefield Saturday, Stuart. I will meet you on the battlefield Saturday. We will. Uh, we'll find out. I mean, easy we, for we, me we, to we, say. We, we, we have easy a, we for have a, you to say. I'm the one saying it with a camera pointed at my face. We haven't. We're no, Stuart. We're still trying to figure that out after what eight years now. Listen. I know you've won more of these, but I have more momentum. New season. Bring it on. All right. You're out here. You're out here picking Oregon. Hey, I'm not. I don't have a lot of faith in your picks so far. All right. All right. All right. That's the end of the episode. That's the end of the episode. We're ending the episode. Um, Kyle, did I ask you about Kyle's Corner? You did not, Jared. Do you have something? You did not i'm looking here and man i think and i'm waiting for the final click here but i'm just gonna say with one minute stoppage time the crew gets a win okay there we go uh so uh once again for the last time uh i mean not like for it but like we're playing the new bomb turps new bomb turks this week so once again, uh, for the last time ish, uh, the new bomb Turks. So with all of that being said, I'd like to encourage everyone to drink local beer, listen to local music and of course, support your local podcast podcasters. 
get to the end of the second episode, my tongue turns to mashed potatoes. Once again, this is the New Bomb Turks. <laughs>